So schematics are a diagram which uses symbols to show the components in an electrical circuit and also where the positive side of the power source and the negative side of the power source are. So I've been going over this circuit in the last few videos I made and as you can see here starting from positive if we close the switch we'll have a current path to the resistor which will protect the LED which returns to ground. This side of the LED is the cathode and this side of the LED is the anode. That's another thing shown in this schematic symbol. And as you can see that shows the circuit here. We have a switch coming first, then the resistor moving, this is also moving to the right, and then it comes to the LED which bumps over to the right a little bit more and then heads back to ground. And as you can see when we close the switch the LED turns on. Not every schematic though goes left to right. This one is actually just a square. This is really common for simple circuits especially. Here's the battery symbol. Usually it shows two cells here and then the positive side. And it usually tells the voltage. I forgot to add that. But again, we have a switch here which is open now but if we close it there will be a current path to the resistor and then to the LED and back to the battery. Also you can go top to bottom. And now this one shows instead of the negative sign we have a ground symbol. Sometimes it's like this and sometimes it's a triangle. And all that's really telling you is this has to go back to the negative side of the battery. This side of the LED. And here's some uh, more symbols. A uh, diode usually looks like this and then variations such as an LED. Uh, LED is just a light emitting diode. Looks like this. So diodes generally look like this. If you see this you know it's some type of diode. And then uh, switches too. They have different looks. This is a typical switch for a circuit but I'm using a push button switch. So I could have put this in the diagram instead. Since I use push button switches on breadboards a lot. That would kind of make sense for me to put them uh, in the schematic for my videos. Now resistors are kind of a special case. In the US it's really common to use these jagged lines and also you write the amount of resistance in ohms next to the component. But other parts of the world use this rectangle and again they write the component value on there but that's something to be aware of. If you're not seeing jagged lines but rectangle instead you know that they're using this symbol for resistors instead of that symbol. So your goal should be able to build circuits just by looking at schematics for a couple of reasons. For one reason that's uh, often the only uh, way that instructors show you how to build a circuit. They just show you a schematic. And also as you can see it's easier to follow the path on a schematic drawn out no matter which one of these you use than trying to figure out what's going on at each part of this circuit. But of course that's just to show you how the circuit works. Putting the circuit together yourself is a skill you got to build on your own.